Greetings from the Math Cave. Today we're going to add to our mathematical tool chest. Every good math problem solver needs a good tool chest. We need to have the basic tools in there. We have a hammer, for instance. We need to have a uh, screwdriver, a wrench, but sometimes it's useful to have a special tool. Here I got one that I got over Christmas. This is one of those all-in-one type of tools over here that uh, you can put in your pocket, bring along. It, let's see, it turns into a wrench, for instance. It could be a, a wire cutter also, a wire stripper, and so forth. These type of tools come in handy. So today we're going to discuss PICS theorem. PICS theorem is a tool that will come in handy as we solve problems. So let's suppose we're given a lattice. A lattice, these are lattice points here. Lattice points is uh, really, these points are at the intersections of grid lines, so it's hard to see from this video, but this is actually a grid that I'm drawing on over here, and this is the lattice points. They're designated by these uh, black dots. Let's suppose we have a polygon. We have a polygon whose vertices are lattice points. Pick's theorem will let us uh, uh, figure out a way, of a very simple way, of finding the area of that polygon. So we're going to uh, choose a bunch of lattice points as the vertices. We're going to draw a polygon. So let's see, we're going to take this point over here. Let's, okay, we're just going to make it up as we go along. Okay. Okay, so here we have a polygon. We're going to count the number of lattice points on the boundary. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I believe it's just sixteen. Did I start? Hmm, can't remember where I started. Let me try again. I'm going to start at this point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yes, okay, so there's 16. There are 16 points on the boundary, so the area equals to 16 divided by 2. We're going to count the number of lattice points in the interior. Let me try to do it in a systematic way. I'm going to go here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there are 10 lattice points in the interior, so plus 10, minus 1. So the area here is 16 divided by 2 is 8 plus 10, minus 1, and the area is 17. So, so long from Dr. Frank, and next time we're going to add to our tools.